Everyone loves the King's Cross transformation. You found there as a developer that the money that you spent on landscape is has come back to you in terms of the, the investment has, has been. You've seen a return yeah. on that investment. Yes, I I think what we found um, it's difficult to quantify, but I think what we found is that tenants um, like the green environment, um, and what it has helped us to do. We've just had a survey done that we get uh, better take up of office spaces quicker. So we may not always get more money, but we often find that clients want to come there as opposed to other sites in London. Um, it, it does also, I think, help increase residential land value. So we're confident that the money we're spending, uh, we do get a return on the investment, um, and also that we're very sort of passionate about maintaining it the long term. You so said that you, you insisted to make sure that there was a horticulture expert in place after you left. That's right. I mean, I think um, as a landscape architect, I was never a great designer, uh, so I know the limitations of the landscape profession. Um, so we were quite keen to get a lot of horticultural expertise, both in design, implementation, long-term management. Um, and because I knew our estates team didn't have anyone in place to look after it or notice when things weren't going quite right, we've asked them to employ someone who is an expert in horticultural, uh, just uh, <coughs> maintenance and design as well. To help them. And that's because your tenants are paying their service charge and they want to make sure that, that they are. That's right. The service charge is, is critical because it's capped by government, uh, so there's only so much we can uh, charge, which gives us a, a, a fixed lump sum to manage the estate. Um, so it's important that we, what we design we can manage within that budget and manage to a high standard because that's what people are expecting. You said it was important to design for what people would do in the space rather than what would look pretty? Yes, we, we went to, um, it, it's sort of a fairly obvious thing, but we went to America to meet Laurie Olin, who did some work for us, and that was his real principle in life, was that it's all about how people use space. And he, he went to great measures to understand the circulation, where people wanted to sit, that you had something behind you as a kind of support. And um, it, it really struck a chord that we were trying to create places and not just uh, landscapes that no one would, would, would use and, and so that whole idea of filling space with people and, um, was really what we were trying to achieve and I, I think it's worked very well.